We all love pot pie, but we hate the fuss. Believe it or not, this iconic Dutch oven is the secret to making it easier than ever. I'm gonna show you how. Pot pie is the ultimate comfort food, but between cooking and cooling the filling and prepping and rolling out and crimping the dough, it can be finicky and time consuming. But with this Dutch oven and with this genius recipe, you can make it on a weeknight. So I'm gonna cut up about two and a half pounds of root vegetables and prep some aromatics. And the best part about this recipe is you can really use any sort of hearty vegetable that you can find. And you wanna cut all of your vegetables in pretty much the same size so that they cook evenly. But the most important thing for this veggie pot pie is to use a mix of flavors, a mix of textures, and a mix of colors because we want it to be really beautiful. My Dutch oven is over medium heat and to that, four tablespoons of unsalted butter and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. That's just going to prevent the butter from browning too quickly. There's no need to wait before adding your aromatics. So we've got some onion, leeks and garlic, a generous pinch of kosher salt, and a generous grinding of freshly ground black pepper. Cook these, stirring occasionally until they're softened and just starting to brown. One of the things I love about this Dutch oven is the unique interior color. It allows you to see whether your food or the bottom of the pan is browning too much or too little. Time to add the rest of our veg. Got our sweet potatoes, pale green kohlrabi, mixed colored carrots, almost translucent turnip, our gold with our beets. I love fresh thyme, it's a little lemony. We are going to cook our vegetables until they're barely softened on the edges, but you can already see my rainbow connection taking place here. All right, vegetables look good. And to that, we are sprinkling a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. This is going to thicken our sauce beautifully. Give it a great stir and cook this for anywhere from one to two minutes until the vegetables are coated and you start to see a little film build up on the bottom of the pan. Next up, some broth. I'm using chicken stock, but if you prefer to make this vegetarian, you can also use vegetable. So now you wanna take advantage of that enamel surface and scrape up all that delicious fond to create an incredibly flavorful sauce. And this is what I'm talking about. Get in here and look at how all that flavor is going right into our vegetable filling. Couple more things we wanna add here. Some heavy cream, some salt and pepper. And last, but certainly not least, for color and tons of smoky flavor, a little smoked paprika. All right, the filling is done, so cut the heat, and this is where the magic begins. With this lid, I can bake a crispy, puffy, golden brown crust at the same time I finish the filling. How? Well, this lid is made out of the same enameled cast iron as the pan, which means I can cook on it, and it's gonna blow your mind. So I have a large sheet of parchment paper. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Rotate it 90 degrees and fold it in half again. Fold it into a triangle and then into a smaller triangle. Place the tip of the triangle into the center of the inverted lid. Measure to the lip of the lid and that is where you're going to cut. And by doing that, you get a perfect circle every single time. All right, so I'm going to use the little parchment paper round I made here and just trace around your circle, just like that. Take the parchment paper round you made and invert your crust on top. We're going to brush it with a little egg wash. This is going to give it a beautiful brown, shiny sheen, flaky sea salt, and fresh cracked pepper. Slide this right onto your inverted lid and on top of the filling. Bet you've never seen that before. This goes into a 400 degree oven so it's puffy and golden. This has been baking for 30 minutes and look how incredible it looks. Okay, the lid comes off. <sighs> smells really good. We're gonna stir in some thawed frozen peas and some fresh parsley. Oh yeah, this 
Looks delicious. Here is where our pie gets its crust. You're gonna slide it right on top. Oh, yes. This is literally the easiest pot pie I've ever made. Let's cut it open. I love this recipe so much, but believe it or not, this technique can be used for all types of pot pie. You know, sometimes you gotta think outside the Dutch oven to get a recipe as genius as this. 